We got some more news for 7 Days to Die console edition in this week's Alpha 21 developer stream. What you're seeing on screen is actually 7 Days to Die Alpha 21 gameplay on PS5. The Fun Pimps gave us some pretty good news and some pretty bad news about the console update. Let's start with the good news. The good news is it's definitely coming. We have footage of it playing. Titanium Games, an Australian-based porting company, is working on bringing Seven Days to Die Alpha 21 to PS5 and Xbox Series X. More good news, it will have crossplay. I don't know if it will have crossplay with PC or just between consoles, but they said it'll have crossplay. Some more good news again, it looks pretty good. The shadows are a bit messy, but for an in-development version of a console build of a game that can barely hold together on PC as it is, this looks pretty good and would be a major upgrade for what console players currently have. Bad news time, you're not getting it at the same time as PC players get their next update. At least, it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. More bad news, it's apparently not going to be on last-gen consoles like PS4 and Xbox One. I've been a PC gamer for about five years now, so I don't really know how relevant those consoles still are, but I know that's what 7 Days to Die was originally on, and it doesn't seem like they're going to be getting it. And the bad, 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 bad news is that it does not seem very likely that console players who currently own 7 Days to Die Console Edition are going to be getting an upgrade for free. It is going going to be a separate game that you're going to have to purchase again. Now, I don't pretend to understand the legality of the situation, but it seems like there's a lot of red tape in the way for the fun pimps. We all know the kerfuffle with Telltale Games tanking because they forgot that video games are supposed to be games, but they were in charge of porting 7 Days to Die console originally, and as you may have noticed, they don't exist, and it seems to be causing problems for the fun pimps. But it seems pretty much 100% that 7 Days to Die Console Edition owners will have to purchase a new version of the game when the update comes out, with Rick saying that it doesn't look good for a free update coming to console edition owners. And I know that's absolutely awful for many of you, but remember, I'm just the messenger. But if it's any small consolation, ha, consolation, get it? TFP is trying to sort out a system where owners of the current 7 Days to Die console edition would be able to get a discount on the new one. But again, we don't even know if that's 100%, it just, it's something the developers are trying to work out with Sony and Microsoft. Although I would imagine the new version of Seven Days to Die would be on Game Pass on Xbox, so that might be something for the Xbox players, I guess. But again, not confirmed, that's just me guessing there. Other than that though, that is all we have about console news. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, as I'm sure you were already doing anyway. As usual, thank you to my channel members and patrons for making this video possible, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.